Oh, that looks like the 3,500 cubic I, foot I model. I can't wait till the first air conditioner I send. I'm deplatformed like right <laughs> afterwards. And I call Mike. I go, dude, what, what happened? happened? <laughs> I just sent an air conditioner. It was like a dual meaning. <laughs> you know who got Halsey pregnant? I don't. Me either. Who I, is it? Are you saying it's? Are you saying it's me? Drop in the air. <laughs> we <we've, we've laughs> fucked a lot, a lot because I like her, the whiny nature of her, whatever she does, and uh, but I'm dating Billie Eilish. Oh, she's how's that? Legal. How's that she's going? Legal. Is she legal now? She's legal. Yeah. Uh, how is it? It's very sad. <laughs> she's very moody, a little uh -huh. emo for my taste. Uh -huh. It's a little sad and a little vegan for my liking. Where'd you meet? Uh, I uh, where did we meet? I, I was I don't know some seance. I don't know what she does. Um, <laughs> have you seen the documentary about her? The documentary about her is like a horror movie where it's like it's a like, dun, 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 and she's clearly very talented, but like. The doc that's coming out about her now, it's like this horrific horror. Why? That I don't know. I'm like, everything's okay. <laughs> You're doing well. Yeah. It's like that Dixie D'Amelio girl has that song, Sometimes I Don't Want to Be Happy. It's like, no. You're going to be happy <laughs> and you're going to be fucking happy now. 800,000 people a week are filing for unemployment. You're singing in a mansion. You're going to be happy or we're going to throw you in a volcano. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that we've, I don't care. I, well, money doesn't make you happy. Shut up. Like you can't release a song during a pandemic and an economic collapse and go, sometimes I don't want to be happy. It's like, you gotta, well, you gotta Bieber, be happy. Bieber, it's relatable. Bieber dropped lonely. Cause you have you guys. And then you have people, you have like the people that eat cereal. You have the mukbang people. You have the people that open presents. I mean, I think there is a prop. Like, it is a prop. Like, I look at what's on YouTube and I'm like, this is not good. Like, I see somebody opening a present and there's 30 million people that are like, I wish I had a present. I'm like, how bad is it out there? I watched a new documentary on influencers. Uh, it was on Hulu. It was called Jawline. And all these girls, you know, the MagCon guys, like yeah. all the girls that were going to see them. I thought these girls just thought they were hot. But a lot of these girls, it was so sad. They're like, my mother works three jobs. I don't have a father. These are the only people that tell me not to kill myself. And I'm like, oh my, I was like so sad. I'm like, <laughs> I had no idea how bad it was out there. I thought you just wanted to, you thought they were cute. No, Taylor Kniffer is these girls role model. I thought they, they thought he was cute. They're like, they're the only people that say, don't cut yourself, go to school. I'm like, what is going on? So I don't know, man. It's a, I think it's, it's, there's a lot of trouble. We're in trouble as a country. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, I we're in so. some trouble. Is it just the country or is it the world? No, it's everything. It's the whole planet, you know? But I mean, I get a view of this country, but yeah, the YouTube thing, uh, there's like girls that are 800 pounds. Me and Ben the other day, my producer just watched a, a very large woman eat a whole chicken. Bo and <laughs> bones and all? I don't know what Live? she did with the bones. Great question. How many views? Hundreds of thousands. She's just a very large woman eating a whole chicken. I would just try to understand like, what is What's it? going on? What's wrong with us? Something's wrong, dude. Are we fucked? I don't know, but it, 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 it ain't great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you go on YouTube, it's not great. A part of that or ever will be or and that's I need not even say that but I, I just it's not an area that I'm not going to be kept up at night by Bay Ridge but I'm not kept up at night by where I grew up right where right. do you want to where what keeps you up at night Mon Sagaponic oh, Sag yeah yeah Fifth Avenue Park Avenue yeah yeah, Beverly Hills, up. is that the Bronx compared to the Mount No, Dome? I mean, Beverly Hills, yeah. I mean, in, in, in terms of taste, yes. But there's some real money over there. Yeah. yeah. There's some real money over there. Uh, you know, Pollock's Path in Hong Kong. Yeah. Keeps me up. One Hyde Park in London. Yeah. Those just, it's interesting. Okay. I just like to know. You know, I said to Ben, my, my producer, we were eating. Who's on the hot seat? Yeah, he's on the hot seat. He better, he better figure it out. Yeah, because um, pimp, homeless pimp's coming. Pimp's coming. I'm going to take pimp, and I'm not going to pay you, but you're going to meet Whitney Cummings. So the whole thing is, you're going to inject the Botox into Whitney Cummings' ass. Here's the whole thing, and it's better than money. So the re we're going we're gonna to release this, so we got. I don't care. Yeah. She doesn't care. She's a comic. Okay, she's the only comic in LA right now, not in jail. R.I.P. Here's the point. This is what I'm saying. Uh, what I'm saying is that. He not, Any live they're gonna be closed down. They were cool, like I, they were cool in the sense that you could walk by and you see like live octopus and stuff down in Chinatown. Now I think that's over. I actually think Chinatown in New York City is gonna, you know, sadly, it's they're gonna have they they are gonna have a, a, a long hard road back. Yep. Because not only are those markets probably gonna have to close, but then I think a lot of people's. People are just going to be nervous about going down there. And look, I, I that's true. I, yeah. I 
think that, you know, a lot of, I don't think it's time yet to go like, what are all the like silver linings coming out of this? Right. I'm seeing a lot of rich Hollywood people be like, but it's so good for the environment. Like, okay, yes, yes but not yet. Let, we're, yeah, like, people are I dying. Know, everyone's like, this <laughs> dolphins are back in the canals in Venice. And it's like, that's great. My grandmother's burning. 50. You know, we can't hold a 50. funeral for my uncle. <laughs> oh, where are the swans? Where are the, oh, the swans are back in Venice. A lot of people are going back to their grassroots of foods, I'm finding, you know? Theo, yeah. now, Theo you struggle a little bit with a little, little uh, in England they call them a fag. The cigarettes, Brendan? Y yeah, you, you struggle <laughs> with that. Yeah, the last fag I'm dealing with is in this room, and it ain't you, Timmy. I'll tell you that. Okay? Thank you so, hey, thank you so much. <laughs> Here's what I'm saying is, I don't even know what I'm fucking saying, dude. What is this Native American asking about? <laughs> What's up, gang? Listen, I, I have a Kenyan's thing for y'all, okay? So, doing my job... Shout out Theo Vaughn in Nashville, but doing my job, I travel a lot. Um, and with that, I miss out on a lot of family time, a lot of, you know, friend time, people that I know close, you know, that live back at home, and I don't get to spend any time with them. And I know you guys deal with the same shit, being that you guys go on the road and, and do shows and, and it usually works out because it's better pay, right? So that's my question. Is it better just to stay home, find work, and just struggle if you have to? Or is it better to travel, miss out on family time, but get better pay? Um, mm. Yeah, gang, gang. Buzz, buzz, nigga. Buzz, buzz, nigga. Gang, gang, gang. play boys. <laughs> Depends well, let's, on your let's family, start. We, man. we can start with Brendan here because Brendan's missed half of his children's life to be fucking performing in Boise next week. So, what do you say, Brendan? Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Yeah, the pandemic made me realize I tore too much, man. So I cut it down to two weekends a month moving forward. I used to do three to four, right? But so I cut it down to two, so I'm around my kids more. But Theo, you yeah. don't have to. I mean, you just own a fucking backpack, so you can tour all year long. Yeah, that's true, man. You're right. I think what this guy is saying is, first of all, I like where this guy is at. This is the kind of guy you need help with. We don't need to be storming a capital. We need to storm AT&T. We need to storm fucking right. Dunkin' Donuts headquarters. We need to storm Zabara. We need to store... Tech is the new fossil fuels, guys. Okay? Yeah. And so we need mm. to be storming places that it hits them in the wallet. God, he now, this guy's PayPal. question is, should he you look work insane, or dude. raise his family? Oh, yeah, my bad. Sorry, I kind of diverted. What do you say there, Well, Tim? that's his question. Should he work or <laughs> yeah. raise his family? Yeah. Well, I would think that he could, maybe both. Yes. Find a happy balance. I mean, that might be a good idea. Like, this guy, I think I think he wants us to co-sign his decision of, like, just abandoning his family <laughs> so he could fucking fix cell phone towers. I'm like, dude, you got to check in on the fam every now and then, you know. Yeah, maybe I mean, chill it's out the craziest, on the craziest. It's the craziest question I've ever heard. He's like, <laughs> "Hey guys, uh, I, I work a lot and I travel. I want to know: Do I still have to talk to my family?" <laughs> It's I'm, like, yeah, I'm dude. putting up all these 5G towers, man. Yeah. I haven't seen my son in three years. Yeah. Do I technically have to, like, <laughs> see and speak to my family? I mean, I have a job. I have a job. Why would I? Yeah, dude, do both. <laughs> Yeah, that's not a bad thought. That's a decent suggestion, Tim. Tim also, I just realized, looks like the Poseidon of fucking Key West, Florida right now. Which <laughs> Let me tell you right now, there's no place love. I'd rather be sitting there uh, uh, eating a conch fritter, uh, yeah. drinking a Don Julio Blanco, white tequila on the rocks, Ooh, yes. and uh, just sitting there and uh, talking about a marina that I wish I had the balls to burn down because they fucked me over on a boat slip. <laughs> Get That's a lot of, literally yeah. where I want to be. I, I would turn to somebody. I'd be smoking a cigarette, and I'd be like, they gave the last slip away. I said if I was more of a man, I'd go down there, and I'd burn that fucking thing down myself. <laughs> Sometimes you, we, we, people are in pain all over the place, right? We know that. Oh. But there's also a lot of – there. listen, there was a lot of fun in, I, that, in that crack house. I hear <laughs> – There were a lot of – Positive people. I mean, I know. I mean, genuinely positive. I know you mean Gen this, though. Genuinely, like genuinely that. grateful and positive people. Like there were people there that if you gave them a cigarette, would act like you paid for their college. <laughs> so to me, it's like, how bad can it be? Like. They they were so. I just remember how happy. If you gave someone a cigarette, they would be happy. And it's like I know people with 
oodles of money and fame that just can't figure out how to be happy. Yes, I will take okay. the controversial stance that <laughs> okay. I believe Epstein is a pedophile. Okay. You and, heard it here. Okay. Oh, and boy. you think Geese Lane was his little, his, uh, his, his, his runner. Yeah, I think that's pretty well established. Okay. I think Miss Maxwell was involved in some lurid and inappropriate <laughs> activities. <laughs> but as Trump okay. would say, I wish her well. Yeah. Because yeah. that's the way rich people talk. Rich people, every now and then rich people just become rich and they forget that they have a job. Yeah. He forgot he was the president. Yeah. He was at a golf tee on Mar-a-Lago in his mind and he, he said what he would have said to some CEO <laughs> yeah. that was next to him. He go, yeah, I wish her well. 